Liberty University School of Education, where human performance technology is now being taught as part of their online doctorate program. Human performance technology, or HPT, is a universal method of solving problems. Human performance technology is a multidisciplinary method utilized to close performance, education, learning, and achievement gaps in a style that is regarded as an ethical, value-laden system that deliberates time, finances, and efficiency. Tang and Melinda, 2018. Many schools have begun teaching human performance techniques to their teachers and to their students in the form of new classes. Gerson and Gerson tells us that organizational development class is one of those being introduced. This new class instructs students about the design of organizations, also of businesses, internal systems and structure, so that students can see how an association succeeds or fails. These scholars are taught how teams and employees in the workplace are inspired toward effective change and how performance outcomes are achieved. New HPT classes teach many concepts such as management systems and behaviors, employee performance, and psychology, teaching students about the actual matters that go on in a company and preparing them for employment is a job of most educators. Performance improvement should be the role of all educators. Therefore, HPT is a subject that should be taught in higher education and perhaps to younger students as well. Gerson and Gerson, 2008. Do not assume that training or retraining employees is the quickest way to solve an issue. First, taking the time to find a performance gap and defining appropriate intervention may be faster. For Shea, 2015. The role of HPT in the new model of educating as it applies to educational technology is just starting to find its way into the field of education. HPT is used to evaluate how effective new teacher training is in the way of educational technology. The role for HPT in advancements is the same as it was for the previous curriculum, to allow the user to find the real problem and fix it if it is cost effective. For Shea, 2015. Two decades ago, Florida State University found itself having to change parts of its curriculum from instructionally based to performance based. This affected several curriculum programs. The university also added new classes in performance-founded technology. These new classes were in performance systems analysis and electronic performance support systems. The novel classes differed from the average class in that students had to interlate with clients so that the learners could practice their skills and determine needs, access examination processes, make solutions to the client's current strategy, and configure returns on investments. Dick and Wager, 1995. Teachers and professors have a duty to teach students using HPT. These professionals have access to groups of students who are learning and these instructors are able to promote the newer concept of HPT into the thought process of these eager learners and that is quite an opportunity. These students will retain more information from the class and perhaps use HPT to gain more from future classes. Gerson and Gerson, 2008. If you only know where you are and not where you want to go, then there is no actual problem. You only have an issue to complain about since no real question has been asked in which to solve. Human performance technology can be utilized in education to make an enormous difference in matriculation rates and improved grades. In the 2018 journal article, How Shall We Define Human Performance Technology?, we are given clues to solving the problems in current educational institutions. These issues cannot be solved until the performance gap is figured. 
With an identified gap demonstrating the difference between what is and what could be, goals can more readily be met. Kang and Melinda, 2018 We are not the same. The step-by-step -step answering process of HPT includes productivity, examination, execution, strategy, and calculation. The method assists in connecting the initial values of the solution process to the data. An HPT world will prove to be one that is ready for advancement. Canyon Melinda Human performance technology is described as loyalty to the field and finding of organizational performance issues and the implementation of pluralistic answers. Conversely, instructional technology targets the purpose of educating people one at a time. As HPT scholars know, retraining and classes are not always the resolution for an issue, though these students and their professors are taught to look for alternative solutions. Dick and Wager, 1995 Programs that concern educational or vocational staff progress have become intelligent and succinct. There is evaluation based on needs, training if needed, the program or class is now designed for professionals, and there is follow-up and follow-through. Staff development is constant as turnover always happens. Therefore, this is a subject that will always need attentive employees to care for it. HPT is effective when used behind the scenes in education. Virginia Licensure Renewal Manual 2017. Every business, school, company, nonprofit, organization, and individual is concerned with performance. Successful output creates happiness and insinuates success. If a university is not concerned with success and the numbers of positive output that it is producing, it will not be effective long. Feedback and the ability to listen and respond is an important part of HPT. Kang, 2018. The goal of HPT is to improve output, and in the case of education, that could be more graduates or better grades. Kang and Melinda write in their 2018 journal article that was published in Performance Improvement Quarterly that when utilizing HPT in the field, one must have a clear goal and a means to get there. If it is found that the best method for meeting the goal is not financially beneficial, then a new goal can be stated. Human performance technology is finding a home in various subjects. When HPT is brought into the subject of ontological design development, there are many benefits. An advantageous relationship can be given to HP technology in any subject or class that can be taught in a traditional classroom. Aaron, 2016. This can apply to education because if SOL grades are not met, a school will lose accreditation. According to the United States Department of Education, when this happens, schools lose state and federal funding. It is difficult for a school to remain open with quality teachers when the county has lost a large part of their budget. Therefore, when HPT is used to plan for higher SOL grades, the budget for ensuring that students pass and that accreditation continues is justified if the programs that the money was spent on actually work. Accreditation, no date. Performance is regarded as the goal in HPT. In days past, training was always implemented as a matter of habit when numbers were low or the desired goal was not met. However, it was then realized that repetitive training was costly and was not giving the anticipated results. For education, this can be applied to the learning gap that has been discovered in African-American elementary school children. For decades, most all children, regardless of race, have been educated in a similar manner. It is time to halt this process with the needs assessment and ask, how do we reach the goal of higher understanding for this cohort of children? Reardon, 2008. Educational technology and human performance technology are finally meeting. HPT has been around longer, but educational technology has spread much faster. People see the value in education, but are failing to see the power of fixing problems in a more precise way. 
and they are also not seeing a link between educational tech and human performance tech. They feel more comfortable doing things as they have always done. The e-learning classes currently being implemented are not teaching individuals competently, mainly because there is no needs assessment being done before classes start. Thus, a one-size-fits-all approach has been cast on all students. Had the needs and learning gap of these individuals been thought about before mandated training, more productive and better precise training methods could have been utilized. Wang, Vogel, and Rannick, 2011. In the 1970s, Harless started using front-end analysis. It is now part of the human performance technology model. HPT is used to improve learning, output, and capability in schools and businesses. When front-end mistakes and procedures are analyzed, these trends as they exist are compared to a company's projected goal. The space in between the points of comparison is called the performance gap. To configure the performance gap, you must ask questions. You will have to figure out if you have a negative issue to solve, or if you have slow performance, or are there quality problems. Afterward, you find a way to fix the problem, followed by finding out if it is cost-effective to fix the problem at all. NARAM 2018 The analysis phase of instructional design as used in HPT has a goal of delivering knowledge to all students, even those that are disabled. One way to accomplish this is to make the job of the teacher easier. This can be done by making it more comfortable for teachers to communicate with students in, in the language that those students are most comfortable with. If students are deaf or blind, there should automatically be choices to accommodate them, making it more natural and simple for the student to access the class information and talk to the teacher is something that is considered when designing instruction delivery methods. Elias, 2011. Performance analysis and cause analysis are the two types of ideas that are behind the human performance technology model. There is also the analysis, design, development, implementation, evaluation, or the ADDIE model. It is used in instructional design. HPT is similar to the prior mentioned ADDIE, but HPT focuses more on front-end efficiency. NARAM 2018 In rear-end analysis, we focus on the after problems, such as we trained everyone on staff, why didn't that training produce employees that understood the underlying reasons behind that specifically geared exercise and keep working at it, demonstrating learning capacity and abstract thought capabilities? By comparison, a front-end analysis could have asked, are we training the correct employees, ones that are going to appreciate new skills and knowledge and carry it further? Address Goals 2015 The goals of human performance improvement, which are found in the Human Performance Glossary of Terms, is to use successful persons and their positive actions to grow value in the organization in which they are a member. Human Performance Glossary of Terms, no date. Constructivist theory does give the learner the opportunity to tailor their learning. Students are also afforded a more lifelike learning environment when constructivism is mixed with instructional design. Student-centered learning is the heart of constructivist instructional design, which allows the scholar to participate instead of just regurgitate. Kid in Song, 2010. Education and other institutions are evolving as ontological design explained it would. We've inherited skills and scientific knowledge, and we must pass on something better that combines capabilities with scientific intelligence. Traditional design is to ontological design as Rand McNally is to TomTom. Tom. For ontological design to work in the field of education with human performance technology and educational technology, many different opinions must unite in consensus. Takuchi et al. 2006 If the feedback for those being currently educated was examined, then the wants of learning could be combined with the best ways of learning to provide an educational environment that students could more readily benefit from. Fauché, 2015. Since there is still not a definition of what HPT is or what HPT is not, vagueness is not something most educators want brought into their place of business. 
For HPT to gain strength in the educational sector, a semi-permanent definition needs to be agreed upon by the many fields that have a stake in the word, or perhaps none of them will be involved. As well, it seems as if HPT has no boundaries, as if it can be applied to anything, and a one-size-fits-all approach makes no one feel very special. Roy and Pershing, 2012 HPT-based design models are best. Sometimes instructional design models are chosen over HPT to solve problems in education. On occasion, e-learning devices are chosen and HPT is omitted completely. When educators make this mistake, they are choosing a narrow option with lean answers to their gaps. Human performance solutions are found by configuring needs, causes, and how those causes are related to any ongoing training, thus the solutions are precise. Sarah Zofsky and Pembroke, 2017.